Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs and in today's video we're going to complete a CTF challenge from Hack the Box. The challenge that I chose today is a retired challenge and it's a cryptography challenge called Sick Teacher. As you can see here I already completed week RSA and I completed a bunch of these and I just want to show you how you can learn your cyber security skills by just completing some of these challenges on Hack the Box. You need to get a premium account if you want to be able to do retired ones but you should be able to do the rest of them the free hack the box account in this case our goal is to learn cryptography in particular in this one we're going to learn how to reverse engineer some of these cryptographic challenges and with this challenge is called sick teacher all you need to do is download this file and once we download this file you see that we need to be able to get a flag from this file so let's go ahead and open the file and it is a password. The password is hack the box, all lowercase. This is the password for all challenge files. All right, so now with that, we get sickteacher.txt. Let's open it up. And we get this text here. So what we're learning from this challenge is that this text is supposed to be encrypted and we don't know which cipher to use. But we have a hint here. As part of the, these challenges, you see that we get a hint here. It says sick teacher. Okay, if a teacher is sick, what do we get? We get a substitute teacher. And since we're doing a cryptographic challenge, we're looking at maybe a substitution cipher. And if you're not familiar with substitution ciphers, I encourage you to spend some time on the internet looking them up. Uh, and in a nutshell, this is where we use substitution of words say if you want to spell the word mom m o m we can say oh instead of m we're going to use z and so it will be z instead of o we're going to use say h so it will be z h z for mom you're substituting words from the alphabet and that's what substitution ciphers are so you can read more about it and here's a wikipedia page where you just substitute words and one of the greatest examples of this, I think, is the Caesar cipher where we're substituting words. It's super easy to decode. So let's go ahead and say subs online. We want to look for a decipher. Why am I using the online tools? Because these ones are the easiest ones. So let's go to like that. And then let's use this one too. Just picking two. So the good thing about this is that this is going to do the substitution for us, so this won't work. We want a decipher. So this is a decipher that might work. Let's convert it to English. So now let's go and pick up our words. So we have all this stuff here. Let's put it in our decipher and see if, if it's indeed substitution. Because it's sick teacher, so that pretty much means substitution. And this is a way of thinking when you're doing this. So let's break the cipher. Okay, so it looks like it worked. Like we our assumption did. So it says uh here's a history of hack the box. Yellow 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 flag is this one. Alright, so here's our flag already. We found it. Okay, it says to rate the difficulty. <laughs> Not too easy, I guess. Incorrect flag, try harder. What is the problem here? Let's copy this. Okay, so taking this flag here and put it in the flag format and also making sure that these are lower cases should give us the proper flag. So let's go ahead here and re replace this with all lower cases. So now it's the same flag that we found. Let's submit. All right, congratulations. As you can see right behind me, the flag took. So that's how we complete this cryptographic challenge. And I just wanted to show you because I mention them in my videos all the time. And say, you can learn a little a thing or two. And as you can see, we learned about substitution cipher and how to quickly decipher it online. So you can do this and build on skills very slowly. If you like this type of content, please remember to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.